Guess who's back? Anton, my lovely makeup artist. He actually debuted on Tia Mori's Quick Fix, showing us a very sexy Valentine's look, right? Yes. But today, you're gonna show us how to do one of my favorite looks, the smoky eye. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Why is the smoky eye so popular? I just think it's sexy, it's sultry, it's fun. It just makes you feel kind of hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It does. And the thing about a smoky eye that I feel like a common misconception is that people want to go straight for like black shadow, yes. black eyeliner, all of the above. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. Like one of our favorite ways is how to do kind of like a taupey mm -hmm. sort of pewter colored smoky eye. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. Yay! Should we start? Let's. Start, Maybe. baby. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorite products. This is actually um, a Maybelline product. It's a 24 hour eyeshadow base and it's a cream. You really need a base if you're gonna do a smoky eye. The shadow needs something to grab onto. You know, when you get that crazy fallout of powder all under your eyes, you don't want that. You know, this is gonna <laughs> kind of prevent it. I'm just kind of using it all over the lid and I'm blending it up into the crease as you can see. You know, you can wear this by itself with some mascara and, you know, have like a happy hour smoky eye. <laughs> or like, like a more natural kind of daytime mm -hmm. smoky eye. I mean, people generally think like, oh my God, I need black shadow. I need all this kind of, it's more of an effect. So we have the base on, right? Yes, so we're gonna do some shadow now, Obvi. This is one of my favorite palettes, the Lorac Pro palette. Okay. And there's a color in here that I love on Tia. It's called Pewter. It's like a gunmetally kind of smoky taupe. Yeah. I love it. So I'm just gonna go right on top of that base, just kind of in the center. It's like an interesting color versus just black or brown. So my first love affair, should I say, with Smoky Eye mm -hmm. was when my sister and I, we were like in our 20s, we had just turned 20 or 21, something mm -hmm. like that. We were on Sister Sister, of course, and we were wearing kind of like the curly hair mm -hmm. and we wanted to feel like you know, grown yeah. and sexy. So we wanted to kind of go a little more dramatic with our makeup because mm -hmm. we were so used to just being natural. And it was a um, red carpet event to this award show. Mm. And I was like in this kind of like sexy kind of like tube dress with my shoulders out. I love it. Yeah, and then the dress was like sparkly. I forgot what my sister was wearing. <laughs> Sorry, Tamara. But um, yeah, I think it's on my Instagram. That's the, great. The photo, but I, love it. I don't know, for some reason, a smoky eye the just makes me eye. stand up taller. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna give you um, kind of a neutral color in the crease. And okay. we do this with natural eyes, smoky eyes. It's nice to have that transition color in there. I'm gonna show you guys how that works. This is my trusty warm neutral palette from MAC, but this is actually saddle eyeshadow that I'm gonna use. Honestly, Tia, like every time I do your eyes, I use this color in your crease, whether it's dark or natural. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it gives that really nice soft blend. Does it also make your eyes kind of like pop more? It does, because it, it warms up the crease and it that's what makes the shadow look really diffused and mm. smoky and blended is when you have that neutral color. It's the color that someone might not necessarily think to incorporate with dark eye makeup. Yeah, but I it, wouldn't. But it's what that. makes it really, really pop. Yeah, ah. and look blended. Mm. And, yes. All right, so I feel that this is coming together. Yes. And it's been rather easy. Yeah, it, yeah. It's it's not really as difficult as one would think. I mean, it's uh, it's one of the more intimidating things yeah. with makeup, but there's, there's so many ways to go about it. And Everyone interprets a smoky eye differently. Yeah. So, you know, every step that we're doing can kind of be your last, which is what's really great. Like with mascara, of course, this would be really finished looking. We're going to keep going, obviously, because that's what we're going to do. Because <laughs> yeah. we want to show you guys all the tricks. What's we're going to keep going. Then? So we're going to just deepen it up a little bit. I'm okay. going to go back to my Lorac palette. I'm going to use this great color in here called Sable. It's like a darker kind of chocolatey brown. And we're going to add this to the corners. And I'm going to show you guys, you kind of make a V. Ah. Um, and it's a cool little trick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place this just under where I did that neutral brown, the saddle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to deepen the corner here. And this is when you really start to see the definition and the smokiness. That's what I was going to ask you. Yes. When do we start seeing that smoky mess? This, this is one of the products that's really going to do the trick is to kind of get that dark brown in there. And when I said how you kind of make a V shape, this is the good, this is the good stuff. Okay. So I already placed that kind of in the crease and then I'm going to bring it down to the corner of your eye here. 
on top of your lash line, so you kind of have this V. Mm. So that gives you that really cool shape. And if you guys think about it, smoky actually means diffused or blended. Mm -hmm. That's really what a smoky eye is. It's a blended eye. It's just with dark colors. Yeah. So that's what we're getting at. Ah. So when you get that corner nice and dark in there, that's when you really start to see the depth come in. So now we're gonna move on to the lower lid. I wanna start getting into the eyeliner because that's like my favorite part. Yeah, you know, I love mine that, like, too. I love that underneath smoky factor, it's yeah. so good. I'm gonna take the shadow that I used, the first transition color in the crease, that saddle. I'm basically gonna do the same kind of fade underneath just to give it a really quick blend because then it's gonna look the same on top and bottom. It's gonna match and it's gonna look really, really nice. I kind of want that whole underneath lid to have this brown on it because when we start adding the darker colors, it's gonna look just like the top. It's gonna look just diffused and blended and just really good. Plus when you barricade the eyeliner with these shadows, it lasts so much longer. Gives it like oh. a little, it's like a moat around the castle. <laughs> <laughs> now one big trick with a smoky eye is, we're gonna do some black eyeliner, don't you worry. <laughs> but I'm gonna start with a dark, like chocolatey brown. This is one of my favorites. This is Groundbreaker from MAC. These last a really, really long time and you're gonna get that really nice transition on the underneath. I'm gonna kind of push this right into the lash line. So I'm not necessarily going all the way In into the, the water line of the eye. Oh. We're gonna use the black for that. Oh. Yeah. So this is almost going in between the waterline of your eye and the shadow that we just applied. So black eyeliner, yes. it's happening. Give it to me. Now we, we've earned it. We've done the yeah. legwork. <laughs> so this is one of my faves. This is Lasting Drama from Maybelline. That's so dramatic. It's so dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> but this formula is really, really cool because it's, it's, it's pliable. Like you have a chance to blend it, but it also looks jet black. So now we're going in the, in eye. the water line. Okay. So before we were outside of the waterline, right? Yeah, with the brown pencil, we kind of used it, like we, I pushed it into your lash line almost. Got so it. it was, it, I still left the waterline open. And this is like creating kind of like dimension, right? This is just drama. I just love all of the layers that we have to this smoky eye. It's a fierce cake. Yeah. Put and on we your love eyeballs. cake. <laughs> <laughs> you love cake. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush that I used to apply the shadow. This is a 219 for MAC, this is an amazing brush for underneath. So do you remember when we did the Valentine's Day makeup, how yes. I had you squeeze your eyes together? Yes. Squeeze. Yes! <laughs> so if you guys missed it, basically what that does is it pushes that black liner from the bottom to the top, and it pushes it between your lashes. Sometimes, do you ever see like little speckles of skin when you do the bottom liner? Yes. This, this actually pushes it in between. So you wanna so cool. just give it a good squeeze, mm -hmm. and then look up, and then you just kind of reapply one more time. And then you have a little bit more depth. It just gives you like a flawless look with the black liner. But now I want to do that top liner situation for okay. sure. Yay. Yeah. And there's so many different products you use. It just depends on your comfort level. Like some people like the gel eyeliners with the brush. I personally love Wait, what's easier, Anton? Well, and that's <laughs> what I was gonna say. This like, is Tia Mori's quick yeah, thing, okay? And, and, and that's just it. And the, the gel liner and then you need a brush, like it could be a little bit much. Yeah. Like there's this liquid eyeliner pen from NYX that I love. Okay. And I think it's super easy to use. Pens like this seem intimidating but they're a lot easier to use than you think. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of lay this down against your lashes. It literally works like an ink pen. All right, Anton, I need for you to help me out here mm -hmm. because whenever I do this on myself, sometimes I find that it's hard to, you know, kind of get the line straight. You need like, you mm, know, precision. I am so <laughs> glad you asked Cause me you that. know, you're like in the mirror yeah. and you're like going like that. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. Okay, so are you ready for your life to be changed? Yes, I'm ready, bring this, it on. This is what I do. You have to have a mirror and you have to look down into it. So your eyelid flattens out. Ow! So when you're actually applying the liner, you have a mirror like right here. Yeah. And you're looking down, down into it. And then you can see what's going on. As opposed to exactly. looking So actually, up. put your chin up. Mm -hmm. And then, do you see what I mean? Yes. So then you can actually see your eyelid. Eyelid, yes. And your eyelid is also flat because when you're looking in the mirror and trying to yeah, go straight like, ahead, your eyelid can do funny things because yeah. you're squinting and this way you're, you're more relaxed and you're looking straight down yeah. and you have control. Makeup is all about control. 
<laughs> okay, so we got the liner on there, right? Yes. So I want to add a little bit more black shadow, just for a little bit more drama and depth. Drama. Because we love it. Yes. Why not? Drama. Yes. Bring it on. Bring all the drama. <laughs> I'm actually going to go back to that same palette that I've been using, the Laura Pro palette. The smell. And this is just the black in here. So kind of where I use that darker brown, I'm going to make a little V next to my big V. <laughs> <laughs> So we talked about blending that color into the crease and then down onto the lash line. And don't be afraid to blend it right on top of that eyeliner. And this gives it even more drama, even more fun. One thing that I love about the smoky eye look is you can wear it with jeans and a leather jacket. Mm -hmm. You can wear it with a dress. It's good for evening mm -hmm. and for day, you know? Absolutely, and you can wear it in all occasions, really. Yeah, yeah. And all year around. Yeah. I mean, it's springtime. I say wear a smoky eye <laughs> for spring. Smoky eyes for spring. Yeah. So, mascara. Yes. Because it's mandatory. <laughs> mandatory mascara. Yeah. Favorite ever, L'Oreal Voluminous. And I just love it. It's super separating. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. And the thing about mascara is generally, if you're using it every day, I say switch it every six weeks because it tends to dry out. And, mm -hmm. you know, you don't necessarily want to buy a $40 mascara every six weeks. Yeah. Lashes. Oh, I mean. Yes. I love a good lash. Uh, I love a good lash. <laughs> we love a good, a good lash, lash together, yes. for sure. The old Faithful, I always go to the Ardell Wispies for you. Yep. I mean, it's like a full, serious lash, lash situation. And the best part about these is uh, they just don't look fake, yeah. you know? Like some of the some of the false lashes out there can look really heavy and heavy, really, really yes. crazy. And these are, you know, they're, they're sparse. They're thick and thin like natural lashes. As far as lashes are concerned, my my biggest, biggest, biggest trick is to, you know, put a little bit of glue on the band, like I'm doing, and then you want to let it set for like, I mean, 90 seconds even. I'm not okay. even gonna, because when the glue is nice and tacky, it makes it super, super easy to apply. Put on. So, a little brow highlight, right? Because oh, yes. we love we love that brow to just be like screaming. Yes, just pop and we love a nice highlight. Yes, honey. we sure do. Hunty. Yes. What are all the what are all the sayings? Penny with an E. Then it's Hunte. Uh -huh. Then it's Slay. Slay. What are, we, what? we slay with the brow yeah, for what, sure. Where, there's there's got to be more. Um, Wer. W E R Q. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Q. Work. I just love seeing all of those like comments up under there. It's so funny it's, to me. It's pretty. Hysterical. Yeah, I love yeah, it. And then of course the Yas. Oh yeah, Yas. <laughs> oh no, this is the newest one. Queen. Queen. I love yeah. that. <laughs> Queen, I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, I okay. love that. All kinds of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, after this, what we're looking for is like queen, right? Yes. So you can put a little crown on my head and be like, queen! <laughs> That's when you know you slayed. Yes, the game, slayed oh, oh, the game. Slayed to the gods. To the gods. And it's G-A-W-D-S. <laughs> This is major. This is some slayage yes. right here. This is um, Starlight by okay. Kevin Aquan. Love this product. Okay. So I'm just using a fluffy brush and just popping this under this brow bone. Don't be afraid to kind of wrap this around and just oh, yes. throw a little bit on top of the cheekbone. Some more highlight. I mean, you can, you can just <laughs> never have enough highlight. Okay. Are there do's and don'ts to what you would do with your lip with a smoky eye? That's a, that's a really, really good question. If you only do a couple of the steps, I say you can definitely wear a bold lip with it. Like okay. if you just did that base with some mascara, like that would look really beautiful with a red lip, for example. Or fuchsia. Exactly, okay. like any kind of pop color you want. But mm -hmm. when we go this far with it, I usually suggest going nude. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just using a Revlon color on you. This is um, like one of my favorites. Yeah, I, love I love this. It. It's called Ingenue and it's just super moisturizing. This is like one of the best neutrals for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't have to worry about lining it. You don't have to worry about doing all of that because when you got this fabulous eye makeup, <laughs> you could just <laughs> even throw on like whatever, if you have a tinted lip balm that you like, you know, anything like that is, anything that has sheer color, like mm -hmm. a sheer wash of color is gonna be perfect with a smokier eye.
Thank you so much, Anton. Thanks for I had me. so much fun with you. Um, you know what I want to see? I want to see you guys try out this smoky eye look. Make sure you tag T. Mori's Quick Fix, and I'll choose some of my favorites. And um, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Mm. Bye.